Hello and thank you for joining me today as we pause to remember and to reflect on this first anniversary of the United Kingdom entering a national lockdown. Uh, we pause for an act of recollection, of remembrance and prayer. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. I'm the senior pastor at Mount Peter's Church here in Northampton, England and co-chair of Churches Together in Northampton. One year ago, we gathered together to worship and pray. We gathered vaguely aware of the changes and fears happening around us. We gathered as carefully as we could, clinging to our usual ways of being together, ignorant of the rapidity of change, ignorant of the fragility of our lives. One year ago, pandemic was sweeping across the globe. Little could we have imagined what would change, how fast that change would come, how strange it would feel, and just how long it would go on. One year on, it seems important to pause, to give space, to notice not only where we have come from, but where we are and where we are going. And so today we pause to name our losses and griefs. We pause to acknowledge our anger, our fatigue, our frustrations and our fear. We pause to remember what is missing, what has been altered, the things that we long for. We pause to name the lessons we've learned, the new skills, the values, abilities that have come with adaptability. We pause to look around, to be reminded of what is most precious, the values we may have recovered, the spaces we have found anew, the reminders of what really matter in this life. We are reminded how far we have come by faith alone, through our tired trudging and our cheeks damp with tears, we catch a glimpse of God's presence, his love, his hope. And so today, as we pause to catch our breath, to rest a moment before continuing the journey, and even as we grieve what has been lost and who has been lost, we are grateful. While we weep, may we also dance as we look to the promises of God's Son. Today as we pause, we ask God to give us the strength that we need to continue this journey together in faith. So let us pray. Gracious God, you led your people through the wilderness and brought them to the promised land. So guide us that, following our Saviour, we may walk through the wilderness of this world towards the glory of the world to come. Guide and strengthen our steps as we lean upon you. As we walk through the valley, lift our eyes to the mountains. Unite us, connect us, strengthen us and guide our footsteps, we pray, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Words from Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, turn back, you mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. You sweep them away, they are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed, in the evening it fades and withers. For we are consumed by your anger, 
by your wrath we are overwhelmed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days pass away under your wrath, our years come to an end like a sigh. The days of our life are seventy years, or perhaps eighty, if we are strong. Even then, their span is only toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is due to you. So teach us to count our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Turn, O Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, and for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be manifest to your servants, and your glorious power to their children. Let the favour of the Lord our God be upon us, and prosper for us the work of our hands. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen. Now let us turn to God in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, be with us as we think about all that has changed this year and help us to trust that you are always with us. Be close to us now as we remember those who have died and help us to trust that they may be at peace with you. Show us how to reach out to others with kindness and care so that hope shines out in every heart and home. Loving God, we place into your care all our doctors, nurses, health care and frontline workers. Give them courage of heart and strength of mind and body. Keep them safe from harm. May they know our deep gratitude for all they are doing to heal and help those affected by coronavirus. God of all consolation, may they know your protection and peace. Bless them in these challenging days and bless their families. Gracious God, as we remember before you the thousands who have died, surround us and all who mourn with your strong compassion. Be gentle with us in our grief, protect us from despair, and give us grace to persevere and face the future with hope in Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. As we journey towards Easter, help us all to live as people of hope knowing that beyond the pain of the cross lies the joy of the resurrection. Inspire us in our worship, through our churches and in our homes, that we may bring glory to you and joy to others. Be with those who are struggling in mind, body or spirit, and give courage to those who face uncertainty and changes ahead. Help each of us to keep our eyes fixed on you, that we may reflect your light to all whom we meet. We join together in saying the Lord's Prayer in whatever language or form is common for you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God of grace and mercy, be present with us as we face an unknown future, 
and as we walk paths untrodden, in this ever-changing and uncertain world where we find ourselves, help us to know and be assured that you are sovereign, that you are all-knowing, all-powerful and ever-present. We know you are a good God who holds us in our anxieties and distress and who has a plan for our future. Calm our hearts and minds and give us hope in you, our only certain hope. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you and with those whom you love, with all God's people, the whole wide world over. Amen. Thank you for joining me wherever you are today. May the Lord richly bless you. Amen.